My channel or hello if you're new if you are new don't forget to click that subscribe button to join my youtube family i do upload every single week and i will be uploading more from here on out so make sure you guys are subscribed today we are talking about back knee i know it's a topic it's a thing that i wish didn't exist and would just go away but unfortunately a lot of people struggle with back knee and body acne I know I was one of those people for many years that struggle with that and especially now that the hotter weather is approaching us a lot of us wear you know tank tops more we're in swimsuits and I remember feeling so uncomfortable to wear those type of things because I was so insecure with my back acne. I wanted to share with you all the tips and tricks that I use to get rid of it. I will get the occasional little pesky pimple, but for the most part, it will stay clear. Hallelujah. I will link any of my other acne related videos down below. I've done a ton, so definitely go check my other ones out on my channel. I have a lot of DIYs, tips and tricks, and all that good stuff. But on that note, let's just jump right into the video. If you struggle with any sort of body acne, you really want to focus on the products you're using and finding the right products. So I'm going to share with you a couple things you want to look for in products. The first word you want to look for on your products is non-comedogenic, which basically means it is specially formulated to not cause blocked pores. And another thing that you should look for is hyperallergenic products, which is great because it is perfect for those with sensitive skin. So these are two words I really like to look for when looking for products going onto my skin. Before going in with a soap and cleansing my body, I always like to go in with a scrub. In particular, I love charcoal scrubs. Charcoal is super great if you struggle with any sort of back knee or body acne in general. Going with a scrub is great if you get a lot of under the skin spots or blackheads. Using a scrub a couple times a week in the shower will be super effective. Of course, when you apply your scrub, you wanna make sure you are super gentle and don't rub your skin raw as this can cause increased inflammation inflammation but once I apply my scrub I just went in with a washcloth and gently rinsed it out before I go ahead with actually cleansing my skin with soap so I'm going to share with you the two that I like to use I typically use my dove bar of soap and this is just really great it has really no scent it's really great on sensitive skin and if you find every product breaks you out I totally recommend going with a simple bar of soap from dove but another thing I actually like to use are acne face washes. You can actually use it onto your body. In particular, I use this on my back. So these are two that I've been loving. The Neutrogena's Naturals Acne Cream Cleanser and the Oxy Deep Pore Cleanser. Why I really like these is because they have salicylic acid in them. And salicylic acid is really great at targeting acne. So I find using these sort of cleansers onto my skin in the shower really helps to clear my skin. Applying any soap, I like to go in with a cleansing brush. I use the Foreo Luna Mini 2 Silicone Cleansing Brush. And using this has honestly changed my skin so much. I will link any product I do talk about about in the description box I definitely recommend checking it out but the reason is because using this cleansing brush really helps to deep clean even tough skin around your upper shoulders and it really just gets all the gunk and bacteria you may have off and completely cleans it and I've noticed my skin clear up so much when using this as opposed to using a washcloth or using my hands in particular Using products like hair masks or conditioners, while they're great for your hair, they can often be filled with pore clogging ingredients that can cause havoc onto your skin and cause that body acne. So a tip I have for you is while I put in, for example, my conditioner, deep conditioning mask, I always take a clip and clip my hair up off of my back. And once you go ahead and you wash that hair mask off of your hair, you're going to want to thoroughly rinse your hair and at the end of the shower, clip it back up and 
and rinse off your back one more time before stepping out to make sure that you don't have any residue of your conditioner left on your back because that could be a big reason as to why you actually are breaking out. It could be due to your hair products going onto your skin. If you do come out of the shower, I totally recommend slipping on a towel or a shirt right away to protect the area before letting down your damp hair. Now I'm going to share with you a quick little DIY back knee treatment. It's super simple and only needs three ingredients. So first you're going to want a little spray bottle with water and then you're going to need some apple cider vinegar. You're going to want to use this one in particular and you're just going to put about a couple tablespoons into the water and then you're going to go ahead and put a few drops of tea tree oil into the mix and then just mix it all together, shake it all up and you're good to go and this will be your DIY treatment. You can spray this onto your back as an overnight treatment to allow your acne to clear and it's just really great because apple cider vinegar is an antiseptic and antibacterial. It really helps to clear away excess oils and it's also really great at helping with the appearance of acne scars as well as minimizing large pores and tea tree oil of course has tons of anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties and has also been really great to spot treat acne and acne scars so I find this really really helps and I just went ahead and sprayed it onto the back and I will sleep with it on and then in the morning if you want you can rinse it off in the shower and of course before trying any new product you want to make sure that you test patch before putting it all over Instead of using a spray as a treatment, you can also do a spot treatment. So if you want to just target in particular a pesky little pimple on your shoulder or your back, you can go ahead with a spot treatment. I personally love the Ordinary Salicylic Serum. I've been using this for months and I absolutely love this. I definitely give credit to this product for helping clear up a lot of my acne. When you are looking for a spot treatment, it's important to look for products that contain the big acne fighters and that is benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid and personally for me I have found salicylic acid works best for me but of course all our skin are different so you definitely want to kind of trial and error different products and see which ingredient works best on your skin to give you the best result but like I said you can actually even just go in with your tea tree oil and use that as a spot treatment before you go to bed all I would do is just put it on a cotton swab and dab it onto any pimples you have but of course, if you are using tea tree oil, you want to always dilute it with water. But this has been also been seen as a natural remedy to help get rid of acne. So I definitely recommend trying it out and just kind of seeing what works with your skin because all of our skins, like I said, are different and different things are going to work for different skin types. Another great product to have are the Oxy Deep Cleaning Medicated Acne Pads. I always take this with me, especially if I do a workout or something like that and you don't have a shower right there or you can even use these every night if you want but they pretty much are little acne pads that are formulated to target stubborn blackheads and treat acne and it really penetrates deep into the pores so once again the pad has salicylic acid so it really helps to treat and prevent breakouts so this is really great to pick up as well and has really helped with my back acne as you can see it takes off all the dirt on gunk on your back so I always like to use that or if I don't have that I will go in with just some wipes if I ever feel like I'm super sweaty or dirty and I can't jump into the shower you want to wipe down your body you want to make sure that you're keeping your body and your back very clean or you're going to notice that's when acne is going to start to appear so this is another option of just wiping down your body if you don't have a shower right away or let's say you're at school and you you have gym for example and you're all sweaty after it it's great to go in with any of these two options I prefer of course the oxy medicated pads and more but if you even just go in with a feminine wipe it will help get rid of any bacteria building up on your back and of course you cannot forget moisturizers of course you still want to moisturize your skin but a lot of the times moisturizers are full with really bad ingredients and perfumes. So I like to go with Aveeno. It's super simple and it's very great for sensitive skin and it makes your skin feel soft but it's not drenched with all those chemicals and perfumes and I just find those lotions, although they smell really good, they break out my skin so badly so I always stick to a nice light moisturizer and Aveeno has really worked 
great for my sensitive skin. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys try any of my tips and tricks out and I hope it helps you guys. I know that this really helped to clear up my own body acne so I really wanted to share it with you guys. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I do upload every single week and on that note I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!